guys welcome back to family mendoza vlogs today i have a totally new video for you guys i am back again in this background so yeah anyway so today i'm going to be talking about something a lot of us do and some of us don't really like to admit it but we do it so i'm going to talk all about waxing yeah. so first of all i did do a video for you guys about me waxing i kind of did a bit but i didn't that much so that's why I am here now talking to you guys about what I'm going to be using in my video. And if I do repeat it in the video, then that's good because you get to hear it twice. So, it's so good. <laughs> Let's get started, guys, with what you need to do waxing. Of course, you're going to need your wax. Waxing, wax. Also, you're going to need little wood sticks that actually you can purchase them at the location you're going to be buying your wax you can use them for like larger areas um, I use them for like the larger areas on my face and then for the tiny ones you use them in smaller areas where I normally use them and I even show you guys in my video I use them for like the brow area or even the mustache area so there you go I said it the mustache I get a mustache Will's got a mustache here up in here the second thing that I do use is the strips the little waxing strips you guys can either buy them already cut up in little square pieces or you could just buy this big ass roll um, last time I had the little strips already cut up for me they're ready to go a lot faster I don't have to cut them up but I did notice it didn't carry that much in the baggies so I just ended up buying this big ass one for a smaller price and all I do is I just cut it up when I need it so that's another thing you're gonna need. So I do use the brand Gigi. Um, you can find it in a lot of beauty places. I think even Sally sells them. So go ahead, check that out. Um, but I use the brand Gigi. Oh, sorry guys, I accidentally like glued this shit together. I can't take it off. Not glued it, but the wax got cold and it stick stick up in my little thing, whatever. So just ignore that. But it looks like this. Oh yeah, actually, how am I gonna take that off? To take it off if I'm gonna put it in my little mesh. Oh, all right. So I actually forgot to tell you guys. You are of course gonna need your little waxing um, pot. I'm not gonna show it to you guys because it's super dirty. I even mentioned in my video it looks really dirty, like all the wax around it. But anyways, um, you could either buy the little pot that's for one wax, or you could buy one that's for two wax. I didn't think I was going to be using two, so I just bought one. I'm actually using two, and I'm going to explain to you guys that right now. So like I said, I do use it brand GG, and this is the All Purpose Honey, um, so you can actually use it anywhere in the body. The honey is really good for waxing like thin hair, and I do need to use the waxing strips. Okay, so if you don't have a waxing strip and you use the wax, the honey wax, then it's going to be all bad because can't just take it off you gotta have that I'll just read a little bit here it says um, ideal method for removal of unwanted hair gentle enough for delicate bikini area so this is also for um, uh, sensitive skin you know and it says it's gentle enough for that area so I'm sure if it's for sensitive skin as well this is a really good one because like I said you can use it all over your body your face your I was gonna say your eyes. <laughs> no, you can't use it on your eyes, guys. Your face, your eyebrows, your bikini area, your booty, whatever the heck you want to wax off. Okay, that's this one. I recently started trying out. This is a whole completely one. I don't know if you guys have seen it like on Instagram. I've seen like barbers that are doing the wax now, like the wax that they be removing the guy's nose hair and facial hair and they just actually yank it off they don't even have to use a strip this one I kind of feel like it's for that satin smooth um, titanium blue thin film hard wax and I'll read a little bit for you guys okay for hair removal no strip disposable wax ideal for coarse thick or stubborn hair uh, recommended for male Brazilian bikini waxing for sensitive skin types and delicate areas turn skin silky mousse smooth I'm sorry silky smooth silky smooth sorry how it looks I really wanted to try it out because I have like sometimes I have really 
thick hair. Like, I hate my sideburns. And I actually take them off from like halfway here because I feel sideburns are, are so ugly. Like, I just feel so manly with sideburns. I'm like, oh, why do I need to have sideburns, you know? I started using this for that area. And it works really good. I mean, it is painful, but you just, whoosh, you know, take it off and you're all good. For me, it's worked so far. My skin's really sensitive. I turn red for anything, get little bumps for anything. So this so far has worked out really good. And I really like it um, for thick hair. So my sideburns are really thick, so whoosh, I gotta use it. Put the video coming up of me doing some waxing. Stay tuned and keep watching. I'll see you guys soon in my next video wax that I'm trying out it's um, it's more for like thick coarse hair so if they're kind of thin it's kind of hard for me to wax it off but what I've been doing is I put it on let it there for a bit and then I pull the opposite way of the hair growing the cool thing is that um, the wax that I'm using you don't need to have like the little strips you know, like the little uh, little strips that you actually put on and peel. This one, you can actually just peel it like that. I'll show you guys right now. But I also do have wax. I don't know if you guys can see it back there, that one. So I also do have the honey wax, which is really good as well. And then I have this roll uh, waxing strips. And then I just whoosh, strip it off. So, yeah. These ones. The little ones in case I'm trying to do like more like here or around the eyebrow down here I use both of them so I'm gonna grab two I'll grab these two right here and let me show you guys right now the wax looks um this is how it looks it's kind of embarrassing for me to show you guys the container it's really really dirty so I don't want to show you guys but here it is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what I like to do is kind of like this and blow on it so it won't be that hot Kind of let it cool down. My little hairs are actually growing down, so I'm gonna pull up. So I'm gonna hold it. And then one, two, three. Hey, they're all there. Let me show you guys. Oh, there they are. I mean, it's not really focused on. You kind of see, like, you kind of see it there. Can't really focus on it. But yeah, that's how you do it. Another thing is I also like to do it my face because it then it leaves my skin really soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these areas and with that I'm gonna be using this big one right here. And I do use a bigger one because I want a bigger area covered. So there you are and then just let it dry. Just kidding. If I see like a little hair did not come off, I'm gonna go use the little one and just focus right there. So I'm gonna go right here. Oh, yep. Oh, it's scary. It's scary because you're right by your eyebrow. You know, you don't want to cut that off more. waxing like the hairs come out a little thinner skin is way softer this it just makes your skin soft and another thing is your makeup does look a little bit more flawless and yeah that's why i like to do wax so i am about to be done what i usually do is i'll throw these away turn off the little um waxing machine that i have and just let it cool down that's what i do if i have little you know we do get like little baby hairs here i think so where I have like hairs that I don't want or make my skin soft. It's really like hard to take off the wax. I did get this. Um, it's from Gigi and it's wax remover for the skin. Rounds. 
I use the soft side to help you take out the the wax, like the hard wax that doesn't want to come off. Kind of go like this. It's a little hard to remove wax, but it does um, help you remove it. Too. <gasps> Okay, so we are all set.